Hey, it's your boy Crypto Expat Life, back with another video. In this video, we're going to uh, do a airdrop, or actually a test net for the uh, ICO network. So there could be a potential airdrop with this one. So let's roll that intro and let's get into the video. So as you can see here, uh, they had a bunch of fundraising, uh, actually VC uh, rounds. A total of 4.5 million and uh, you can see here the here are the investors polygon ventures circle alliance dow um you know quite uh, popular vcs so they've got some money to build at the uh inco network so what is the inco network um essentially the modular confidential computing network so it adds like a layer of privacy um, with uh, Ethereum based or EVM based uh, blockchains unlocking the next frontier of Web3. They manipulate the data in its cryptid form, maintain the confidentiality throughout the uh, entire process. So, um, you know, basically this will mean like, you know, when you transactions on chain um, this will encrypt it and um, they won't be able to see kind of like what you're doing essentially um, uh, that's basically why what this uh, what this service is going to do they're going to sell it as a service it's going to be like a SaaS uh, it says here build your own dap on any network our confidentiality as a service or CAAS enables customizable confidential state computation and randomness to transparent blockchain such as ethereum arbitrum base polygon optimism and others so there'll be heaps of uh actual dApps that run on these uh, existing chains can use this um modular top confidentially network so definitely have a lot of customers um could potentially sign up for this i had a hackathon so you can see that um in Denver um, so this is always good news that like building the kind of like the prototype and uh, you can read more about the website um, more on the website okay so they have this like demo and we can sort of start playing around with it start interacting with it okay um, so first of all what you need to do is you need to get a uh, MetaMask account you can just use a burner account or whatever you want to do I've just got a new wallet and I just created it and I called it airdrops and um, just come along here and then just insert your MetaMask address here and click submit and then this will send your uh, type tokens these are just testnet tokens if it doesn't arrive just wait um, just do it again okay and just uh, wait like a minute the first time I tried it, it didn't work second time I tried it it arrived in a minute so go figure then the next thing you're going to have to do, you're going to have to uh, add this uh, network to your MetaMask wallet. Okay, so this is going to be a test net. And to do this, um, you can just click on this link here, and then it'll take you to the docs, which is here, right? So to add this, just go to your MetaMask and um, click on Expand View. So then you can add it without it disappearing. If you try to do it without doing this, then good luck, okay? <laughs> I'll give you um, a badge of a medal of honor if you can do it um, without the window closing on you. So you add these, okay? Pretty self-explanatory. You just go here and then you click on the little three buttons here and go settings. Then you go networks and then you go. Um, now I've already added it here. I don't know why that's saving. Yeah. You go add network and then you go add network manually. All right. So once you do that, then it's just a simple case of copy and pasting that network name to here, the RPC URL, which will be here, and chain ID. And the block URL is optional, which is down here. Okay. So once you. Uh, Put all those details in here, click save, and now you've got this testnet added to your MetaMask wallet. Then the next thing you need to do is um, just wait for your 
uh, boss it tokens to come take a couple of minutes and then you want to head over to uh, the demo okay um, the demo will basically um, you know you be able to just interact with these like these dApps um, you can also find them on the docs page under example dApps here they're kind of weird how they work um, but uh, these probably these two are the ones you want to kind of use the smart wallet click on that and then it's got this like this uh, one-time code kind of thing so you just come along here decrypt it'll, it'll sign off on your metamask right once you sign off on this it'll give you this code this code and then you got 12 seconds so click on this paste it and go validate okay that didn't work try it again click on here validate it and then see if this one works okay so that didn't work <laughs> um, it did give me an error okay oh there we go there it is that true so that did work okay so that's um, one uh, kind of validation that we've done all right so then the next one we want to uh, go back to the demo just um, to go back just go up the top here okay back to main page and then click the next one confidential did um, I think you gotta click on this decrypt your own score sign on this and then um, yeah I I don't really know how this thing works I'm just clicking buttons okay I have no idea it's just like a dap that they've created okay um, the user credit is scored is stored and then is um, encrypted and then yeah okay so go back so use these two there's a couple of other ones here that are really weird but you know have a play around with it this one is weird um, I have no idea what this is I tried to ha I tried to figure it out I had no idea anyway um, so there's that one uh, if you go back to your metamask let's go back to our metamask um, probably would be a good idea if we just um, sent some uh, just do some transactions online right so just send it send your um, to like another wallet okay so I'll just send it to another wallet I'll just choose this wallet and then I want to click that so now it's sending it to my other wallet so this is in testnet so it's going to be really slow all right it's not like this uh, this RPC they're using it's just like a testnet RPC okay so don't expect it to be super fast um, because it's just a testnet RPC and they probably just pay the minimum to get the RPC so just see how slow it is just just bear with it just okay so that's sent then go back to the wallet you send it to and then just um, send it back okay. so we just we, we just want to get transactions on, on the blockchain that's basically what we're doing here okay so do this a couple of times three or four times or whatever whatever you fancy then um, the next one is we want to go to third web um, if you've already got an account with third web you can actually add more um, uh, metamask accounts um, more wallet addresses um, because I just you know I just created like a burner wallet and call it airdrops and then um, you can just use the same account you, instead of creating a new email account because you have to create an email account for this just use the same one and link it okay so make sure you when you connect it make sure you're with the same um, wallet that you've been using okay because if you use this before it'll connect to the previous wallet and then you don't want that so make sure it's connected to the the right wallet and then 
um, the link will be below for this. This is basically a um, token contract, ERC20 token contract. But what we want to do is we want to just deploy this on the testnet. So just come along and go deploy. And here, name, you can just put anything you want. Um, let's just call it um, Ico with hat. <laughs> I'm just doing anything here. So, okay. Um, here, just click default. Just click on this default button. Uh, everything will just be default, right? And then um, when you come along here, make sure you, well, I've already added it, but you're going to have to add it, okay? Come along here and go um, add custom network. And this will give you, now you have to add this, just remember like we did before, we added it to our MetaMask. Now you're going to have to add this information here into the third web. Okay, so, you know, I've already done it, but you just put the name, make sure it, it, it's... It mirrors this name will be Ico Gentry Testnet. The network ID will be um, same as here. I think it's Ico. Uh, chain ID will be the same. Chain ID will be the 9090, and then the symbol will be INCO. Okay. So do them, C O and then 9090 and then the uh, ID was ICO, oh hang on, the ID, yeah, um, and then get the uh, RPC, okay, make sure this is critical, this one here, you need this, um, and the RPC be down the bottom here, that's it, don't, don't bother about the block explorer, you don't need to put that one in. Okay, and then just come, oh, yeah, finally, um, put the, obviously put the name here. Don't forget to do this, testnet. It's not mainnet, testnet, and then click add. Now, if you muck it up like I did <laughs> in, the, in the beginning, just, um, don't worry, just come along here, scroll down, find it, um, like you can go ICO, ICO testnet there. Okay, see, I found it. I've already, actually, there's already a couple added here. Um, then come along here and go click on this scroll hover, hover over it scroll over to the settings kind of thing and then someone's got mainnet there for some reason <laughs> I don't know who's done that one but just go along and then that's how you change it okay you just update it that way testnet update okay now once you've done that um Okay, wait, we don't want that one. I don't know why that's showing. Okay, default, it is, it is right. Um, yeah, once we've done that, we just want to deploy it, okay? There'll be two transactions to deploy this. We're, essentially, what we're doing is we're creating a token on this testnet, okay? So, this may take a while because the RPC we're using is a testnet RPC, so it's not going to be fancy. It's not going to be lightning fast. So just bear with it. Now, yeah, we've got plenty of gas there because they send you 0.5 icon in the, in the faucet. So we've got plenty of gas. Click on this. It's, essentially, I'm creating a token. That's what I'm doing. All right. Um, you can create a token like this. I've done this in other videos before. Just create a, you can actually create a, a ERC20 token uh, and deploy it on whatever chain you want. Um, and then you want to click on this one to finalize it. Just scroll down and then just click sign. And then it'll add it to the dashboard. And um, there you'll have a token. So you can see here, there it is there. It's showing up there. I've just made this token called Inco with hat. All right, and lastly, we want to mint our when I first mint. We can, we don't have to, but you can. I would do it as well because you've only done one or two tasks. 
So then you just go to the token, click on this, hover over this, so it's token tab, click on this. And then you want to mint it, because we're kind of like, we've already created the contract, we want to mint the tokens, like how many tokens. So mint, let's just go 1 billion. Okay, so we're going to mint a 1 billion tokens. And just sign off on this. Most people aren't going to do this step. Okay. They don't know how to deploy a token. Well, you've just deployed a token. You're going to deploy a token. So, again, you know, these, these uh, test nets, these uh, potential airdrops, they want to see, you know, people are doing above the extra, you know, above the minimum. That's basically what you've got to do. You've got to do a little bit more than the rest of the crowd. Um, and hopefully that'll give you more priority and more tokens if there is a potential airdrop. So that's now we've done it. That's all the tasks that you need to do. We can actually go to our tokens and we can see our tokens. It should import it. Um, to import it, we just need the contract address. And that's the contract address there. So we can click on this, click on that. And then we can add our contract address. It should show. Yeah, it should show. There it is there. Import. So now we've got a billion, one billion tokens we just created. How's that? How's that? Pretty cool, right? So now um, we've done all the tasks. All right, we did the faucet. Then we did the uh, demo, had to play around with that. Kind of, that didn't really work out that well, but still have a play around with it. Then we sent to our wallets. Okay, we sent it to another wallet, sent it back. We did that two or three, four times. And then we created our own testnet token on third web right so now you know we're looking good and once this uh, potential airdrop comes ar comes around they're gonna see your wallet and that you've done your uh, you've played around interacted with their demo and created a token and, and, and done all that good stuff you might get priority into an airdrop Hi right, guys um, I recommend you join the discord as well um, this is the discord have a play around with this. Come in and say good morning. Uh, follow the Twitter, and um, you know I'll give you guys an update on this. So hopefully we'll, this can turn out to be actually a, a quite a good project. Actually, to be honest. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>